want my body back. Come and get it. So Freaky is a good movie. <laughs> How's it going guys? Uh, it's me, Danny Nara, back here again. And I wanted to talk about Christopher Landon's Freaky. Now, without giving too much of the plot away, I've seen a lot of people comparing this film to uh, Freaky Friday. And while it does have a lot in common with that movie because of the body switcheroo aspect, I think the best way to describe the plot by comparing it to another movie, this film is like a mixture of Friday the 13th and <laughs> The Hot Chick. Now if you've never seen The Hot Chick, it's the movie where Rob Schneider plays a dude that switches body with a high school girl. <laughs> Up in the killer's body. <laughs> So, yeah, it has a lot in common with that movie. A lot of plot elements, actually. So, do with that what you will. Now, in this movie, yes, a killer switches body with a teenage girl. You know, a lot of uh, hijinks ensues. And, to be honest, I'm very surprised that Vince Vaughn plays a slasher villain perfectly. And also plays, you know, a girl trapped in a man's body perfectly as well. It's so strange. The director really took advantage of uh, Vince Vaughn and his uh, menacing stature while also taking advantage of his, you know, usual fast-talking brand of comedy. And it, it, somehow this guy, Vince Vaughn, fit perfectly to this movie's tone. Don't know how, but it worked. And honestly, everyone else in the film did it. I, I don't think I've seen a bad performance in this film because everyone did a good job. And... They all sold this movie's uh, premise really perfectly. Like you're, you're basically glued to everything that's happening here, and you just believe it. You know, it doesn't feel like a gimmick. It just feels like it's happening. And I don't know. I think the movie should be praised by that. And uh, another thing is that I need to emphasize this because if you're a fan of slashers, you are going to love this movie a lot. I'm serious because it has so many references so many nods that are subtle and not so subtle in fact there are kills in this film that are similar to some installments to the friday 13 franchise so yeah if you're a fan of this franchise you're gonna love this movie if you're a fan of the slasher genre in general you're going to love this movie because this film is a perfect love letter to the slasher genre, in my opinion. A lot of people would say that, in fact, a lot of people compare this film to Scream, which I don't necessarily disagree with, but I think that the two films couldn't be more night and day, because while Scream does show some appreciation towards the slasher genre, to me, Freaky shows more appreciation, because what Scream does is, what Scream does more is make fun of it, and then show appreciation towards it while Freaky just it just pokes fun at the slasher genre but then shows a lot of appreciation towards it as well and I mean again I'm not trying to criticize Scream in any way I'm just trying to prove that both films show their appreciation differently because Scream just sort of makes fun of the slasher genre while Freaky just pokes fun at it but then shows a lot of love for it and the film also proves this theory I've been having for a while now, which is that Christopher Landon is clearly a cinephile because in his other films you just see so many references towards other films. In Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse you clearly see references to other zombie films and it shows appreciation towards the zombie genre as a whole. And with Happy Death Day you don't necessarily see um, references to slashers per se but you do see references to other films like you see like for example a poster of they live you see references to the movie groundhog day back to the future a lot it's, it's there's just a lot because you can just feel that christopher landon just has this pure appreciation towards films and at least that's what i get from watching his films and with freaky 
he perfectly depicted his love towards the slasher genre as a whole. Now, that's my opinion, of course. But that's, yeah, that's how I felt by watching it. And, yeah, the film, it just... It's so weird that I don't talk about the plot a lot because... I just really want you to watch it. If I've convinced at least one person to watch this movie, I'll be happy. Because this is just me trying to convince you to watch it. If you love Jason, if you love Michael Myers, if you love Freddy Krueger, any of the slasher villains, watch this movie. It's really good. It's made for fans of slashers. Trust me. It's really good. If you didn't like Christopher Landon's other films before, you will like this one. Trust me, it's really good. And with that, I'm gonna leave you. Yes, this was a short video, but all I'm gonna do is kiss this movie's ass and I've already done enough of it, so... Yeah, this is the end of the video. I hope you like it. Please like, subscribe, share this video, please. I would greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Ha <laughs>